know, insects and diseases are just a way of life in the garden. So don't concern yourself. I mean, they're going to be there. Th that's nature's balance, and everything has a purpose. Disease, that's the result of poor yard and housekeeping. We can solve both of those. And then neither you nor your yard will be bugged. And I call it the cleanup tonic, and it's used on a regular basis every two weeks, and generally either early in the morning or late in the evening. What you do here is you're going to mix together one cup of antiseptic mouthwash. Antiseptic mouthwash is bacteria stats that kill bacteria, the bad bacteria, and discourage diseases from coming around. One cup of lemon scented soap, that's, that's because the lemon scent in it is, um, is a repellent. The bugs hate citrus smell. Or you can use one of the regular other uh, soaps, but the lemon scent works a little bit better. One cup of chewing tobacco juice. Chewing tobacco juice is nicotine, and nicotine is a contact poison and an ingestion poison. And the way you make chewing tobacco juice is by taking your thumb and three fingers and reaching inside and getting a big clutch like that and rolling it into a ball and then put it into the toe of a nylon stocking and marinate it in a quart of boiling hot water. And if you're into gardening like I am, you take the whole package and put it in a nylon stocking and then put it down uh, into a gallon of water. And then it's always, then you've got always need the amount that you really need. Now, if you have to add an insect control, that's a medication. Durasban is probably the most famous and most efficient, and most effective, but you only have to use it at 50% of the recommended rate inside of this mixture or formula. You can use diazinon, you can use your fungicides. Any medication that you will use will be used inside of this formulation and then only on the area where you have the problem. Fill the balance of your hose and sprayer with warm water, attach it to the hose, and then begin to apply it and apply it in a pattern. And a pattern means to make sure that you're covering all of the areas. Don't just hit and miss. You'll start in one area and you'll move all through that area and then from there on up you're going to go ahead and spray. 